Now, returning to the discussion of aged care, which has proven to be extremely complex during the coronavirus crisis, including the outbreaks in Victoria. Joining us live now is Liberal Senator Conchetta Ferravanti Wells. Senator, thank you for your time. Your submission to the Royal Commission into Aged Care was really scathing about both the Labor and your own government's approach to aged care. Well, Annalise, uh Aged care and the failure to reform in aged care has been an issue that's been around for a long, long time. And indeed, the interim report of the Royal Commission itself uh, is very critical of successive governments that have failed to undertake uh, effective reform and proper reform in aged care. And indeed, um, the interim report refers to what it it says is the uh, melancholy conclusion that uh, older Australians and those receiving care have not been a high priority for successive governments. Now, we've had review upon review, and some of those reviews have continued to outline the systemic failures in the aged care system. And one very important study that was undertaken was the Productivity Commission report on caring for older Australians. And that report was released in 2011. And that very much formed, uh, informed uh, the work that I had done at the time as Shadow Minister for Ageing and very much uh, was the basis upon which the 2013 coalition policy uh, report uh, was, or policy uh, was prepared. So this has really been the issue. And now we have a Royal Commission that has basically now said effectively enough is enough. Uh, we will promise, and it has promised the Australian public, that it will outline fundamental reform and a total uh, change in the aged care system. And that needs to happen, Annalise, because regrettably, we've seen the same things happening over many years. And so now we are at the point where uh, what we're seeing in Victoria uh, is uh, symptomatic of a system, uh, systematic failures over many, many years. When you speak of the Productiv Productivity Commission report in 2011, you highlight in your submission that none of the suggested reforms were undertaken. What would those reforms have been if they were implemented? Well, Annalise, the report uh, basically looked at suggestions for an aged care system, bearing in mind the fact that we are coming into a baby boomer generation and also taking into account the dependency ratios uh, of working people for aged care people. So, for example, today there are about four people of working age for every person aged over 65, and by uh, 2058 that's going to be just over three. So, the Productivity Commission not only looked at the systemic failures, but it also looked at the funding issue. And yes, of course, we do have to spend more on aged care because we have an ageing population, but it's important to get that balance uh, between the public funding and the private funding. And in the end, the Productivity Commission concluded that we should have a pay-as-you-go system uh, with higher uh, contributions, a taxed uh, funded system, but with higher co-contributions and certain limits uh, put in place, and of course, considerations for people uh, who need a, a safety net. So it outlined the processes of reform. And what I did was actually take that report and then look at what that could actually be and road tested ideas as to how that report could be implemented into fundamental reform which is still important today, Annalise, which is, of course, is still important More today. Important and, indeed, and indeed, the interim report of the Royal Commission is actually informing itself on the work that, is, that was done by the Productivity Commission. Yes, but we're talking about a report from 2018. One of the biggest frustrations, oh, sorry, 2011. One of the biggest frustrations for ordinary Australians is that they want someone to take responsibility and they have the state and the federal governments pointing fingers at each other. In this report, you're pretty scathing of the Abbott government. You're saying it's evident that the Abbott government through relevant ministers and those advising it failed to articulate the original intent of the coalition aged care election policy. Is this just more finger pointing? Um, Annalise, the point, the problems that we had uh, in 2011 and in 2013 have continued on. So therefore, uh, 
as the interim report of the Royal Commission has stated, successive governments are at fault here. So we know that there are problems. So therefore, how are we going to fix uh, the mistakes of the past? And so therefore, uh, what uh, I am doing at this point in time is providing uh, at a particular critical point of time in a public process, which is important, a public discourse, providing solutions uh, to uh, the problems as I see them. I mean, the problems are still the same. They haven't changed. They've just compounded over the years. And so unless you're going to be prepared to undertake wholesale reform, then you will still have the problems that we are seeing. We're going to have to leave it there. Senator Conchetta Ferravanti-Wells, thank you for your time. Thanks very much, Annalise.